Welcome back to Sturge Tropia. This is Sturge playing Mickey Hennessy in Old School RuneScape. And today I'm going to do the stash locations. I was doing that, uh, all those clue scrolls recently and realized, man, I hated running back and forth to the bank. So I decided, heck, I'll just do it. But might as well do a guide. This is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to follow the wiki page. I'm actually going to do it in an order that makes it easier to get from bank to bank to bank since you have all that, uh, all this stuff to carry. What you need here, you're going to need a hammer, you're going to need a saw, and some nails. I'm using bronze because, well, they're cheap and I made them, and so it doesn't matter. And I'm going to do the first beginner uh, clue scroll stashes, which are two of which are right next to each other here in Varric. Then I'll go to Lumbridge. From there, I'll go to Draenor, and then I will go north to Falador, and then up into the Berthorp area. Uh, Taverly and Berthorp. But the first one here is at Thessalia's uh, Fine Clothing. Actually, I walked right past it. It's it's outside here. Uh, it's this little bush outside, and you're just going to need a chef's hat and a red cape. Super easy to come by. Or at least I hope it's easy to come by. Many monsters drop that, uh, that uh, chef's hat. So and Then the next up, we're going to go just north here to, uh, I think it's Alia's. She's the gypsy. And there's another little bush right outside, and uh, we'll build that guy. You see, and I'm getting good, some good experience too, some construction experience, 150 for each one of these, which is pretty sweet. And we're gonna get a gold. We need a gold necklace and a gold ring. That's it. That was fast, huh? And then next up, we're gonna go to Lumbridge. All right, starting from Lumbridge Castle, you're gonna run south to Bob's Axes. Hope everybody knows where Bob's Axes is. And there's a little bush just south of Bob's. That we're going to do the last beginner stash. Uh, there's 150 experience. We're going to put leather boots and a bronze ask, axe in that one. And we're done with beginner stashes. That's great. Uh, next up, we're going to go to the swamp and start the first of the easy clue stashes. So here we go. Next, we have the first uh, easy stash that is next to the Zanaris shed. Down, uh, down south, just below the Lumbridge Castle, and this is going to take a bronze dagger, iron, a full helm, and a gold ring. There you go. Next up, we get to go to Draenor, and we'll start doing things there. All right, next up, we are in Draenor at the marketplace, and just a little bit north of these stalls, next to this bench is the stash, stash hole. Build that. Then we're going to fill it with studded chaps, a steel longsword, and an iron kite shield. And then let me load up and I'll get all the other stuff that I need for the other stashes. One is down at the Wizard Tower Causeway, so that's coming up next. Here we are on the Causeway to the Wizard's Tower, and there's a crate right here in this little recess, and we're going to build the stash in there. It's an easy clue stash. It's going to require a medium helm, emerald ring, and a white apron. All right, we're slowly going to work our way north. Next up is the Entrana Monks. All right, we're here at the Entrana Monks, west of Draenor. We're going to build in this crate right here. It's going to require a coif steel plate skirt and a sapphire necklace. All right, that one was super easy. Next up, we're going to go north. All right, here we are coming up to the crossroads north of Draenor Village. From here, we're going to walk south just a little bit, and there's a little bush down here. We're going to build the stash there. We need an iron chain body, sapphire ring, and a longbow. And next up, we go to the Draenor Manor and the fountain, just a little bit south of the fountain. All right, next on the trip is the Draenor Fountain. It's just this little pile of rocks south here. It's going to require an iron plate body, studded leather chaps, and a bronze full helm. So simple and so easy. Now we'll go to the Lumbridge uh, Mill and do the next hole there. All right, you just come south a tiny bit from the big doors to the mill, the Lumbridge Mill, and you'll see there's a little hole over here. We're going to build in there. And it's going to take a blue gnome robe top, a turquoise robe bottom, and an oak short bow. Wasn't that easy? Oh, yeah, I love it. Now we're moving right along. Next up, we're going to Mudskipper Point. Now we are at Mudskipper Point, just a little bit southwest of the Fairy Ring. Build our hidey hole, black cape, leather chaps, steel mace. And now we'll work our way north through Remington and into Falador. And finish those uh, hidey holes there. 
All right, as you come into the mine here at Remington, right in the center is this little rock outcropping. It's going to take a gold necklace, gold ring, and a bronze spear for this particular stash. Not bad. Moving north. Just coming up on the crossroads north of Remington and another rock outcropping. This is going to take a green gnome hat, cream gnome top, and leather chaps. All right, pretty straightforward. Next up, we'll move into Falador. Now we're here at the Gem Trader in Falador, is the western side. As you can see, lovely gems, and there's a little bush outside we're going to go build in there. This guy is going to require a uh, mithril pickaxe, black plate body, and a iron kite shield. And I just made level 35 in construction. You can see how delightful that is. There's a lot of experience in these, actually. It's uh, really good. I love it. All right, let's move on. I made a quick run to the bank to get some items for the last stash after the Falador party room, which is in this bush right here. It requires a steel full helm, steel plate body, and an iron plate skirt. And we're almost done. We're wrapping it up here pretty quick. We're going to run up to Taverly now into the stone circle and work on that one there. All right, we're cruising up on the east side of the witch's house toward the stone circle with the druids. And this is the last of the first 13 of the easy stash locations. I will do another video after this with the next 16 and the last 16. This is a blue wizard hat, a bronze two-handed sword, and ham boots. All right, that was easy. Wow, that was fun and fast. Thank you all for watching. I'll be back in just a little bit with another episode.